Hi guys! Today we're going to check what happens when you sprinkle or pour things into an outlet. And in case we can't get something inside, we'll use this device. It'll be hot. No one will be left unplugged. And guys, don't ever play with voltage because it's very dangerous. It's not necessary. We're gonna show and tell. Just in case, we have fire extinguishers. One, two, three. And also dielectric gloves and goggles. The first to experience the horrors of the electrical depths will be an ordinary pencil. We chose it for a reason. The pencil lead is made of a material that contains a lot of graphite. And this, in turn, is a very good conductor of electric current. That's what we're going to try to make sure of now. For better conductivity, we'll sharpen the pencil on both sides. At least we're using our high school skills somewhere. Now in the vice that everyone met in labor class, Turn on and... This is what I understand luck. At the most important moment, alligator clamp fell off. Let's sharpen the pencil again. Attempt number two. What a firework. The voltage was too high, and after the explosion, the pencil split in half, and the lead burnt off. Look at those insides. He was in pain. Too bad we didn't get the slow-mo. We'll repeat the experiment for the sake of this footage. This specimen exploded even more violently. As is the norm in such experiments, let's take a look at the slow motion. When else is there such a cool opportunity to stick snow in an outlet than in the winter? Maybe I was a crazy kid, but for some reason as a kid, I always wanted to check it out. This was the opportunity, the moment of truth of my entire childhood. And nothing happens. Santa Claus, what's the big deal? Your snow doesn't work. Okay, let's try connecting the alligator clips and see if we can get some reaction. To do that, we'll make a snowman. And while we are transported to childhood, click on the bell so you do not miss new experiments. Meanwhile, let's connect the clamps. Oh, no Christmas lights. Instead, there was just a short circuit when the alligator clips accidentally touched each other. Snow is frozen distilled water, which means there are no salts in it. And water conducts electric current precisely because of the presence of salts. Unlike regular water, frozen water is very poorly conductive to electric current. It's almost impossible for it to pass through. We've just learned that salt is a good conductor. It's time to put the knowledge into practice, and this sausage will help us. In addition to all the ground-up gristle and stuff, there should be plenty of salt in there. Let's connect the alligator clips without the cellophane wrapping. Shall we start the barbecue? My treat. Ooh, that's a juicy dish, all right. Sausage thought she'd become a steam engine. Nothing had smoked like that in the studio in a long time. And the smell was definitely not meat. 
The inside of the sausage looked like charcoal, and in some places it's cooked quite well. To be honest, it doesn't look very appetizing. This is a new recipe, a socket, two alligator clips, a few seconds, and it's done. Let's see how the sausage behaves under the protection of cellophane wrapping. Turn it on. Magically, instead of lunch, we got a vaporizer. There's so much smoke. Let's see what's in the slow-mo. After one of our previous experiments, we had a piece of ballistic gel left over. Now it's time to see how it handles the stress. With the crocodiles in position, we can apply the current. As soon as the electricity was turned on, the gel began to melt and spread like snow. It's high temperature after all. If you look from the side, you can see sparks. Since the material is so fusible, we should take advantage of that. We're going to immortalize the channel's name on this gel. Wow, that's a great live today tattoo. The gel eventually hardened again, and we easily removed its residue from the table. Let's move on. Uh, there's a lot of YouTube stuff to do with a slime. Now to answer the question of what happens when you stick it in an outlet. I hope no one's common sense has been compromised. Let's go check it out. We dump it on the socket and wait for a miracle. Nothing happens at first, but that's okay because it takes time for the slime to get inside. Here's the contact. Boiling and gurgling start immediately. I can't see it well on the camera, but sometimes there are even sparks. It's fun, of course, but this kind of thing can cause a fire, which we wouldn't want to happen. We're gonna have to take the outlet apart to get rid of the slime. It's like Italian pasta inside. Doesn't look very appetizing. Cleanup's done, we can put it back together. Let's move on to our next guest. Everyone is used to connecting headphones to the phone but we decided to correct this and connect them to the electrical network 220 volts. First, let's connect one channel with alligators. What a powerful bass it was now. After such a blow, the earbud couldn't withstand it and burnt out. Let's see how the result of our work sounds. Yes, everything is correct. Only one speaker works, the second one is muted. Now it's time for the second ear. A modest spark and a small bang surely threaten this channel too. The conclusion is very unusual. It's better not to put headphones into the socket. And in principle, it is better not to play with such things. But you can play with the buttons under the video. 
there is a button subscribe and a thumbs up. And also share this video with your friends. Bye-bye.